welcome to this week's meal prep video. So I've already showed you clips of um, what I did this week. So this is kind of the meal prep back to school edition. So let me show you what I did. So let me show you the dinners first. And what you don't see on the table is I have a roast in the crock pot for the family. And then I also have some beef stew going. And I did show cutting up some celery for that. Um, but it's on the stove as well. And then I also cooked some pinto beans too for the family. So that is those dinners for them. And then the dinners that I will be having this week, um, I actually did show a whole video, a separate video on making the stuffed pepper casserole. So this is the leftovers from that. I did have that for dinner last night. Um, so this I can have for dinner this week. And I think I'm gonna put, I have two extras here. So I think I'll put one in the freezer for future and then leave one in the refrigerator for the next couple days to see if I want it for lunch or dinner. If not, I will put that in the freezer as well. So um, it made six servings. So there's two servings in each of these. So um, me and my son had it last night. But so I have two more dinners here. So that's nice. These are the foil packet dinners. These are they're called Southwest Chicken Foil Packet. I kind I didn't really follow the recipe because I did I as usual changed um, what I put in it, but I kind of got the idea of things. I think there was one that had chicken and um, black beans, so I added the corn and, and all that. So that's what those are, and these will just go into the oven. I believe it's 375, and it takes about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the thickness of your chicken. And, um, and I don't know the points on those yet, but um, I will put them on the screen where I show making them, how many of the points are. And this is gonna be panko breaded chicken. So as you saw, there's um, the plain down fat yogurt, some spices, and then chicken. And then what I'll do is the day that I have this, um, I will just put it in some pink, some, I'll season the breadcrumbs as well, and then just put those in there and bake it. And again, I don't know the points on that. I will put those, any, for any points, I will put them on a screen as I'm showing how to make them. Um, I do know the points on this because, like I said, I had this last night. So this was three points a serving. And then I have, so then the rest is going to be lunches and breakfast. So these are just the leftover fruit that I had after making my fruit cups. There's some green onions for salads. Here's some veggies for hummus for me to take to, lunch, for, to work for lunch. Some leftover grapes that we'll munch on. I had a big watermelon. So there's two things of watermelon. And then my son's starting back to school tomorrow, so um, he only have four days this week, of course. So I'll I made him up some fruit cups. I didn't make them as full as um, I could have because he's not the best. He'll take fruit with him, but he doesn't always eat all of it. So I just didn't want to waste it. So those are four fruit cups for him, and then I have four for me for work. And now these are sandwiches. So. These are for my son, or I could have them too because they're Weight Watcher friendly. He likes these sandwich thins, um, and he likes the horse, I mean the spicy brown mustard, so that's what I put on that. So these will go into the freezer. He can take one out the night before when he's getting his lunch ready and put it in the refrigerator and be thawed out. Also, you can take them out the day, the morning of, and they will be thawed out by lunchtime. So um, these will go into the freezer, so this will make him making his lunch a lot easier. Just grab a sandwich, throw it in his lunchbox, and he's good to go. And these are the breakfast sandwiches. So again, um, he can take one of these out the night before and it can thaw out and I could too. So these are for both, for anybody actually who wants them. Um, and just throw them in the microwave and heat them up. And egg muffin cups, again, another quick breakfast in the morning. I have, this is the chicken salad I showed making. So I can either have this on a sandwich then. I, I also have some pita pockets, um, um, the pita pockets are, or the sandwich pockets, I think is what they're called, pocket thins, something like that, but they're three points, and the sal this salad, I'm not sure how many points, again, I'll put it on the screen, but um, I can have them with that, I also sometimes just have a bowl of this for lunch with some crackers, hard boiled eggs, and then another last breakfast item, these are getting ready to go into the oven, these are blueberry muffins, so I think we're all set up for a really good back to school week, and I think that's everything. So I will see you all next week in the next meal prep video. Have a good day. Bye. That is all that I have. Actually, I do. I need to cut up a lemon still for waters, and I still need to cut up this bad boy. Um,